Next up at UFC Vegas 80 line, we have Edmund Shabazian taking on AJ Dobson. Edgen, Edmund Shabazian, 12 and 4 overall, 1 and 4 in his last five, coming off the TKO loss to Anthony Hernandez. Taking on AJ Dobson, 7 and 2 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. He's coming off that decision win over Tapan Inchukwi. This is an interesting fight that has a lot of people split. There are a lot of people loving Edmund here, and then a lot of people that are a little more of sound mind, like myself. We have Edmund Shapazian. This guy is a pretty good striker. He's very well-rounded, has impressive kicks. He does get taken down a good amount, though, because he is long and he plants before throwing. His takedown defense is just okay at 63%, and if he is taken down, he does end up in trouble because he does not scramble well enough to get back to his feet, and he doesn't threaten submissions, so he's just kind of stuck on bottom. He does have some solid offensive wrestling, though, with more than two takedowns per fight, and he's coming off that TKO loss to Anthony Hernandez where he was taken down six times before being stopped in the third. He's taken on A.J. Dobson. This guy is also a striker. He's got incredibly fast hands, good knees, and kicks. He's typically not a gun-shy guy. He's not Kennedy and Chuck Wu who forgot how to fight. He will throw in combinations. He will move forward. He's got a ton of power. He mixes that in with his speed. He does have some wrestling as well, but his takedowns do rely on sort of just power and raw strength more than clean technique. He's just going to grab an underhook, push you against the cage, bully you to the ground. Once he gets you to the ground, he's got good fundamentals, good top control. He is coming off that win over Tapan and Chukwi where he had two takedowns, almost a round of control. I was shocked to see these odds. AJ more. Dobson... Plus 170, just, I'm the dumbass. Go tell me why a 40-year-old who has won one in his last five that notoriously gasses is a two-to-one favorite. I would love to hear, tell you what, go ahead. I'd love to hear your explanation. A 40-year-old? I know, he's not 40, but he, he fights like he's 40. He's fucking 26 He's slow, years old. he's used up, and he's lost four of his last five fights, and he gets finished. And he has cardio issues. And he has a negative striking differential. I would love to hear how this guy wins as a two to one favorite. Two to one favorite. I'd love to hear it. Are you done with your breakdown? Because I don't That was it. I picked AJ, and it's absurd to me that Edmund is a two to one favorite. Love to hear it. Yeah, well, because Edmund's the better fighter. And I understand mm -hmm. that people are worried about you know the, the takedowns. He's a young kid. You can see he's he's definitely improving every single fight. Um, people are worried about the cardio. I don't think it's going to matter in this one because he, 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 his cardio is going to fail him when he's pressured. His cardio is going to fail him when he's hit. His cardio is going to fail him. He's going to get finished against dangerous fighters. This The UFC sometimes knows what they do with matchups, right? There's a reason why this is a matchup. There's a reason why this is on the fucking main card and this is a matchup because I don't like Edmund. I don't like him. I, I, it's hard to trust a guy like Edmund. We've seen Angelo made some good points. I mean, he's won one of his last four fights, but that was a lot to do with the, the wrestling discrepancies. I don't like Edmund, but this was a fight made for him. AJ Dobson is such a low volume striker, not a dangerous striker, doesn't have great takedowns, and even if he has takedowns, he doesn't have great control with those takedowns. This was made for them to get Edmund Shabazian back on the winning track against somebody that's not dangerous, that he can dance around with, be the better striker, and when Edmund has space to be the better striker, you saw what happened against Dolce. Just fucking smoked him. That's what this is going to look like. Dolce is another low volume, more dangerous than AJ, so Edmund had to be on his P's and Q's, but a low volume striker, Edmund could take his time in and out, bop, 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 and was able to find that shot. AJ's the exact same person. He's low volume, plotting for telegraph shots, not dangerous. This was made for Edmund to win. And I don't like Edmund. I don't trust Edmund, but I had to put money on Edmund on this fight because it's just a tailor made match. If you're Edmund and you don't win this fight, you don't fucking belong here. I think he smokes, AJ. Listen, what I will say is I just ranted and raved about how. Edmund can't win this fight. What I will say, and I don't think he wins. And <laughs> here we go. And then, so no, 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 he hears no. no, and so he hears me talking, and he's like, "Oh, those are good points." I'm so, not going to talk about his skills. Right, so you... No, I'm not going to talk about his skills because I think AJ Dobson hits harder, and AJ Dobson can wrestle. I what I was going to say is. He's one in four in his last five because he's had some really tough matchups. Derek Brunson did what Derek Brunson does. Jack Hermanson. We just watched him smoke that Philly fraud. Nasruddin Imovov is very good. And then Anthony Hernandez somehow just keeps winning fights. So he has had some very tough matchups. But I still think Edmund 
loses to AJ. I think AJ is perfectly fine in the striking department. He does have a solid chin, so I don't know why we're pretending he's chinny. He has a solid chin, and he can wrestle. So that is why I'm on if the AJ get the side. Takedowns, he's going to get fucking smoked. But do you, so you think? Good. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think Edmund sucks. Like I, 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 I do not think he sucks. I do think he's useless on the ground, literally useless. So if he gets taken down, he's got nothing to offer, nothing. And I think that's going to be a problem for. And he slows down as fights go on. So if AJ has a little bit of wrestling success he in the second, slowing down against Stefan because he had the space to strike. But it was a striking. He's slowing down against wrestling, to, I know. But AJ's not. He didn't go all in on the wrestling. He will, and he can. Is the point? But anyway. Okay, roll your eyes like a fucking... Yo, you took a two-to-one favor. Congratulations. I'm over here picking dogs at an incredible rate. And you're just too afraid. Too afraid to pick a solid underdog. It's a joke. Anyway, you going to spend the 9100 on your boy? Yep. Really? Right. Yeah. I, I, when I, I don't fucking just talk, talk, Angelo. You are the, the, oh, okay. the, the definition of talk to talk without walking the walk. I back up every fucking thing I've ever said with money, with bets, with anything. I always fucking back that up. You know that too. First of all, with this, with this fucking fake tough guy, I back it up speech. How many times have you done some shit like that? And I say, let's bet. And you say, no, plenty of times. Never. I will all always right. bet. Well, now, now that you've established that is your energy, let's maintain that energy and let's just say You're the motherfucker focused. that fucking an hour ago was like, let's fucking bet. I'm like, all right, $300. And you said, I have 50. You said, let's I have, bet. I have 50. You said, I let's 50. bet. And I said, okay. I and then you said a number that I, I felt was unreasonable. That's how normal people behave. I have 50. And then the second okay. you were like, let's bet 300 on this one. I said, okay, let's fucking do it. Okay, so yeah. Different energies. Yeah, I'm a reasonable human being. Your lips are hanging out of your underwear. <laughs> Another roast beef reference. Wow. That's two roast beef references in one fight. You would down. have a roast beef vagina. Okay, I, now we're just getting disgusting and ridiculous for no reason at all. One and four in his last five. Jacob's most confident pick on this entire card. And if you do want to see the bets that he spent... On him, no, the bets that he has on him, you can unlock those. We want picks.com. Click become a member of the top. It's only $10 a month. And we may be heads up on some of those bets, but even the cumulative total, I personally am up eight units on the year. Jacob personally is up five units on the year. Our combined ROI is 15%. Premium membership has proven to pay for itself time and time again. We get the landmine cards and we navigate. Like Minesweeper. We want picks.com. Click become a member of the top. It is only $10 for an entire month. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.